back everybody, it is me, Garmanza92, and we are back with MotoGP 22 career mode, starting our mode, or not starting, sorry, carrying on with our Moto3 season. So, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, and leave a like on the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, thank you all so much, I really do appreciate the support, and don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, so drop them to the channel. So, I believe we are back to Magello in this race, uh, a circuit I quite like, so yeah, let's see how we get uh, let's see how we get on around with Jello in the Moto3. Right, so here we are. We are back with MotoGP22. And we are continuing our Moto3 career. But we have a uh, Chief Engineer replacement offer. Uh, minus 37 engine though, so not a chance. We're going to reject him straight away. Uh, so yeah, we head to Magello. Just have a quick look at the standings. At the moment we are 44 points clear at the top of the MotoGP Rider Championship with 44 points to Sergio Garcia. With 122 points scored, plays at 98. We'll just have a quick look at the teams because I believe our team is also at the top with us and Kaito Toma there in the background. So yeah, our stats, our recent run of form, we've had a decent... Uh, we had a decent start. We got a fifth, a second, a first, a first, a second. Spain after those mistakes and uh, France after our mistake and picking up that long lap penalty. Cost us a podium positions. Hopefully we don't make as many mistakes during the race as we have done in the last two. We can get back onto the podium in Magello. It is going to be warm, of course, because it's Magello. Let's head straight to the weekend. Uh, another circuit I really enjoy racing at. This one, so let's see how we get on round here. Hello, this is Gavin Emmett from the Magello Circuit. We're in Italy, of course. Hello, Gav. We're just going to skip Gavin. So we've got tools of the trade, track study, top speed, sector study, gain access to Q2 and race base. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to dive straight out, I think, on a medium, medium. See how we get on. I will drop back in after free practice and uh, just before qualifying. Hopefully we can get a decent sort of rhythm in our uh, practice sessions and we can be quite competitive around here for qualifying. That is obviously the objective. We shall see how we do, but I'm just going to get straight out of the track and get some laps under me before qualifying. Okay, so free practice session went, uh, went quite well. Free practice was good. One, two and three, to be honest, were pretty good for us. So John McBee there in third place with a 158.8, so good for him. Um, our quickest lap was 158.3 in FP3. With a 158.5 in FP2 and I think a 159 uh, point something in FP1, so... Like I said, Magello, good circuit for us, or good circuit good morning, for me. Uh, welcome back to the Hopefully we can, uh, we can relay that in qualifying and in the race. Uh, annoyingly, we did do the um, the race strategy uh, development test, but we ran out of fuel on the last corner on the last lap, would you believe it? So, a little bit annoying there. We were uh, quicker than a, a 2 minute 3. I think my race pace was about a 159.8, 159.9 maybe. So I don't know how that's going to fare during the race, but obviously we'll have to wait and see. But uh, for now, let's get out on track and see how quick we can go in qualifying. Right, so here we are, about to start our first flying lap of Q2. Get out this corner, hopefully quite well. Try and use all of the track. Stick to the inside as much as you can here. We've got green frag, we're racing. Up over the top, hopefully the driver that's coming out of the pit lane doesn't get in our way. He doesn't. Right, breaking at the second the black lines. Try and hold that corner speed. Out to the curb into the curb, little bit of braking as you enter that corner, and again, we're looking for a 158.4 or quicker, wouldn't surprise me if the AI get a bit quicker in qualifying as well, so if we can match a 158.3 like we did in free practice, that'd be great. A little bit wide through there, though. That's going to cost me. 
Hopefully it doesn't cost us too much time. As we go round Ariana 1. Or Ariata 1. Ariana 2. Don't want to get on the curves on X, you can lose a lot of drive out of that heel if you do. Try and stick to the curb. Bring it out late. A little bit of break as you get into this corner so you can get onto that gas nice and early out of there. This is actually not a bad lap. Oh, I get that rear wheel sliding out there. A little bit of acceleration just to get us around the corner. Hopefully get a decent drive out. Through the chicane. That was a good line through there, I think. Onto the brakes, the final corner. Ooh, that was close. Wrong, sweeping left-hander. Onto the acceleration. Here we go, down the straight. What sort of lap time are we going to do with our first lap in Q2? We're looking for a 158.3. We are going to do a 158.4, which is what I said originally. So we've got enough fuel to go for another lap. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can gain a tenth or two somewhere. The final result so, of the second unfortunately, qualifying session. I say unfortunately, we're still on the front row. But um, to seeing you tomorrow. we went out, we did another lap, we aborted the laps, we made a mistake, and then we were coming round the third corner, and we were quicker by at least four tenths going into the first couple of corners. So we were doing really well. We did use Yamanaka as a little bit of a pull down the main straight, so we gained a lot of time through there. But then he got in our way and knocked us off. So, yeah, cost us a little bit that. But we are in third, we are on the front row. So hopefully we can convert that front row to a decent result during the race. Good morning from Gavin Emmett. So it's going to be warm, circuit. tracks at 47 the, degrees, so I think tyre wear, the starting grid, tire wear is going to be a big factor the the during race. this race. So the let's just uh, have a look at what it recommends. It recommends a medium front, which we should go for, the weekend. and it does recommend well, that hard problem, rear. So we are going to go for a hard rear. Just we don't want our tyres to give way. So. Engine braking three, power mapping, uh, sorry, engine braking four, power mapping three, traction control at one. Hopefully we can get a decent start and pull away and um, let's hope we can get a decent uh, a decent race during this Mugello. So, we look at the grid. There we are picking up that that third spot, that, uh, that all important front row for us. A lot of drivers, or sorry, riders going for the uh, medium front and the hard rear. As we look down the order, uh, just sort of seeing if there's anyone else, but it looks like most of them are going for a medium, a soft, soft. I uh, surely he's never going to finish the race on a soft, soft. So, here we go. The start of the Italian Grand Prix here at Mugello, just a few moments away now. And very soon we'll see the riders powering down to the San Donato corner. Clutch in, revs up, here we go. Power up and free set. Lights are out. Oh, we get a good shot off the line. A smashing shot off the line. Let's put in front of these driver riders here. We'll try and get out of the way of them. We got a blistering start off the line in that corner. Right, let's try and get our nose down here. There's a yellow flag. Someone has gone down. We are going to have to be careful of fuel though, so we're going to turn that down to power map in two. If I'm honest, I wanted to use a little bit more power map in three, just to try and get away from this, uh, the pack that I'm assuming is going to form around this Magello circuit. Oh, we're going a bit wide. That's going to cost us. That cost us about three, if not four tenths, that corner. Another yellow flag, someone else has crashed. It isn't any of the top runners from what I can see, though. Good line through there. Onto the brakes again. Oh, I gotta go wide again. We can't afford to make these mistakes like we have been in recent races. Right, gaps of six tenths. Come on. That was a good approach to that corner. Much better. The acceleration. Oh, 
got a good line through there, I think. Gaps of seven tenths. Final corner time of the first lap. We get out of here and switch to power up in three. Fuel's not our friend in this race, but uh, we're going to try and use power map in three just to try and drag us down this main straight. I am staying out of the slipstream, mind you, they're quite far back anyway, to be honest. So we're going to switch to power map in two. The gap is nearly a second ahead, so that is good. That is good news for us. We've got that medium front just helping us around these uh, hard braking areas. Try and hug that curve, much better line through there. Get off those curves, that sends you wide. Like that, we're going to pick up track limits, warning for that one. Gap to 1.1. Pisan Guevara has now broken to second. Gap still at a second, so we're doing well here. Provided we, can, uh, provided we can keep this sort of pace, I think we'll be okay. Track limits warning again. Made a mistake through that corner. Went a little wide. Round Ariaba. Ariata, whatever you want to call it. Not pronounce it. Round here. Gaps down to point four. We've got another track limits warning. We're going to have to stop running wide, otherwise we will pick up a long lap penalty. Gaps now to two tenths of a second. Isan Guevara is putting us under pressure here. Pick up that layer apex. Better line through there, a bit of power map in three. Oh, rear wheel sliding out there. We'll have to remember that's a hard rear. Right, we are in power map in three, so we're going to keep to the inside. I got good drive out the corners around this circuit. As you can see, the gap climbing. We need to, uh, we need to have a good lap here because we've. Uh, Made a few mistakes in the last laps. Hold that wider line. Much better through there. That was a good line through there as well. We need clean laps from now on. We cannot afford to get a long lap penalty. That is meaning we're riding a little stiff. We lose a lot of time through that corner. Just can't get it, uh, can't get it right. It's a good job we're stronger. Another track limit's warning. Can't afford another one. We're going to need two clean laps in the latter stages of this race. Now I'm up in three through here. Take that wider line. I'm going to switch it back to two, actually. Let's try and save it for the straight. We have the speed through the straight as it is, so let's not lose that. Good line through that. Isan Bogara is going to make a dive. We're going to protect the inside line and go wide. Power map in three. Here we go. This is where we gain our time back. We've definitely tuned this KTM. An absolute beauty to give us this uh, to give us this speed down this straight. Our personal best lap. Two clean laps here. We cannot afford another track limits warning. I genuinely thought we were going to get one then. That cost me through there. To be 
fair, he's saying Gavara, he is on the charge. He'll be bringing the rest of the grid with him, that's the only problem. Oh, that's a better line then. A much better line through there, yes! Up the hill. Right, let's not accelerate too early through here, because this is where we go wide and pick up that warning. Oh, we get the front end lifted off. Do not do that. Use curves on exit, very nice. Corner speed, corner speed. Very good. Out the corner, stick to the inside, and then pull out. Use our corner speed, power map in three. We've got plus 0.3 at the lap, so let's use it all down this straight. This is where we could win this race, if I'm honest. The other bikes don't have the same top speed that we do. Another personal best lap. Final lap of the race. Turn the power mapping on. Obviously, if we get another track limit it's warning now, someone's down. If we get another track limit it's warning now, it will, uh, it will mean a place dropped. We do not want that from the Jedi. Hello, the gap's at point six. Isan Guevara is gone. The crash into turn one must have been Isan Guevara. Must have tangled with uh, John McVie. Because John McVie was up into fifth place. Or, sorry, he's down into fifth place. He was he was running in third. No, Isan Guevara is back. Where did he come from? Oh, he's contacted the rear of our bike there. Right, OK, we've got to be clever here. We know we've got the power down the straight. Keep the power up the hill. Onto the brakes. Heavy into here, block that inside line. And again, do not go wide on exit. He's going to try up the inside. We're going to use power up in three. And when he brakes, break that a little bit later. Use that wider line. We've got less grip on our front tyre. We've got power map in three though. Boy, oh, Andrea Mino has got the run out of the corner. He's going to be on the outside for the final corner though. Oh, he's cut in front of us. We've got the top speed though. Hopefully we can get out of this corner, get in front of the Sangamara. What is the lap time? Well, it doesn't matter about the lap time, sorry, but what is the time behind? We are going to come across the line. We are back to our winning ways. Well, we wait what a race that was. To take us to the park firmly to meet today's stars. And we got the best lap of the race. The final, final lap, surely. 159.2 there, the final lap. That must have been. That can't be our best lap. Because he got a 159.1. 158.5. I'm wondering if that was. Why is that grey? There's a lot of 158s in that race. That is some race pace. Whew. So now we are 60 points in front of Sergio Garcia. Uh, 16 points. Our team is in front of uh, Gas Gas Aspar team. I don't think that's stand because they are. Camera is taking us into. They are on an absolute blinder at the moment. But with his mechanics. We celebrate with our mechanics in Park Ferme after returning back to the top spot. That is our third race win of the season and it increases our lead in the championship. We pick up our credits and our reputation, excuse me. We pick up our, our research development points there. We've got lots and lots of those. So, what do we have? We've got engine. Uh, fuel consumption or max torque? We're gonna go. I'm gonna go max torque actually, eh? Yes, please. Go for that. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We've got uh, Catalonia for our next race, like I said. We're back onto winning ways. Um, we will pick up Catalonia in the next video.
That is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos as they drop onto the channel. So we will be back in the next MotoGP video with Catalonia. We managed to get back to winning ways in Mugello after our recent run of form, that eighth and that fourth place in the last couple of Grand Prix. We are back to winning ways and all importantly, building our points for the championship. Hopefully we can get that winner as a rookie and then move straight to straight to Moto2. Uh, we know which team we want to race for next year. We want to try and get into the Yamaha camp for the, uh, for the Moto2s. Uh, I believe that's a new team, but I might be wrong. So yeah, let's find out where we get to in Catalonia and that will be in that next video. And I'll see you then.